Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Gavin and this is Stable Life. We're here on a somewhat chilly, very cloudy, yet still beautiful day. The horses are all blanketless. The donkeys are donkeying around. They're just waiting for their food, they're hungry. Today is manure day. We've got no Joel for this morning, sadly. It's just gonna be me taking care of everything. Don't worry though, he will be joining us in the afternoon, I believe. I could be wrong, I actually don't even know. But as you guys can see, we've got no horses in, but no manure tubs out yet, as well as over here. We've got no grain measured out. I just got here, so I gotta get started. Now, I know Joel has like a special way he does it, so I'm gonna try to do it. No, it didn't work. One more time, one more time. Well, wow, that was pretty good. I see why Joel uses that move a lot. It seems like we have a pretty sizable manure day today. Good morning, boys and honey. Sarah and Bella are way down there. How are you this morning, honey? Hungry, I imagine. Much like the rest of them. Don't worry, boys, I'll get you in soon. I just gotta get your hay. I almost forgot about it. Right before we let the horses in, we're gonna check on Gavin. He's still over here in the left run. He still gets fed in here day and night. But each day he gets a little bit better. Probably won't be too long till he's able to be back into the swing of things. He's there, stuff. The donkeys saw me come up with the hay and the food, but not feed them before Gavin, and now they're upset about it. All right, well now I guess we could feed the donkeys. All right, boys. There you go, Buster. Or Rocky, or both of you. Okay, there you go, Buster. Diego, Sarah, and Bella are now up here with the rest of the crew. So let's get them all in because they're all hungry. They're all impatient. They're yelling at me. Good morning, George. Good morning, honey. I'm gonna grab Sarah here. Hello, Sarah. Honey went to her stall. Very nice. Bella got her stall. Oh, Diego. Also, hi, champ. Let's see, where did Diego go? Not in there. Oh, looks like he's in champ stall. Hey, Diego, come here. No, 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 get out of here. It's not your food. Someday you're eventually gonna get it. I wish it was today. I don't think it's gonna be today. Calm it down. Slow down, slow down. There you go. That's your food. You eat that food, not champ's food. Looks like it could use some hay. So check on the big field. I drove a little too fast. So I lost my hat. There it is. That's better. All right, the big feeder is pretty low. This feeder is definitely very low. Coming over here, looks like this closer feeder is very empty as in like 99.99% .99 empty. 
this one seems like it has some hay in it still. That's a lot of hay that we need. So I'm thinking we might need two in the middle field, two over here in the big fields, and one over here in the big fields. Now if my math is right, that's five bales. I could be wrong. Well, 22 manure buckets later, and this wagon is heaped. I couldn't add anything more to this, even if I wanted to try. Also feel like it should be mentioned that Joel did a fantastic job cleaning this up. It's still dry and flat, and you don't sink in at all. And it still looks great. It looks so much better than it did before. I'm hoping I'll be able to pick this up. It's gonna be very heavy. Oh my goodness. That was about as heavy as I was expecting. There we go. Now we're moving. Woo. It's like I'm rowing a boat. There we go. Well, I'm on the tractor now. I'm going out to get hay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna grab all the bales I need for today. I'm just gonna get one good bale for the middle field and one good bale for the big field. And then I'm gonna let Joel do the rest later when he gets here just to make sure everything is the way he wants it to be. And if I find any cow bales, I'll just leave them up here for him to deal with as well. This is called putting your work on someone else. It's not really that I'm not okay with doing the work. It's just, I don't fully know where to put the cow bales, what to do with what I, you know. It's mainly just to save some time because I'm running out of time pretty quickly this morning. That's one for the horses. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a guess that that's not gonna be used. So I'm gonna go for this one. That looks like a cow bale. All right, maybe this one will actually be a good one. Maybe I misjudged it. This one, I'm actually not too sure. I think it, it would more likely go to the cows. I don't think that should be used for horses, but I will leave it there for Joel to figure out later. Now this one, I think, is good for horses. All right, well, I've got the two horse bales I need. I'll let Joel figure out the rest later on, if he's here. If he's not, then I guess I'm doing it again later. We got a tail. He's trying to catch the hay. But this is not meant for him, it's meant for the big wheel. Get out of here, casino! He's chasing me down. This is like a high-speed chase. Oh, he stopped. Bye, casino. I put some hay in there. Go get some hay. See you later. So some time has passed since the last clips of me getting the bales and these clips of me taking them out. I was running very late. I got back to the stable with the bales at lunchtime. So I had to quickly turn the horses out, not put hay out, and then go get lunch. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to eat, and that would not be good. But we made it. Lunch was great. It was some spicy chicken patty sandwich. Always a classic. But now we're back. I put one bale out in the middle field already. And we have the second bale on the back of the tractor, which is going in the big field. After coming back from hay, I just put manure buckets back into the stalls because I wasn't able to do it this morning. It basically just looked like this. Hey, yeah. Not very entertaining. That's for a little bit more. Now we're in afternoon feeding. I tried doing the snap thing again. It didn't work. I think it only works once per video or something because it just wouldn't work.
Guys, guess who's here? I'm back! Did you guys miss me? I'm sorry to crash your video. I kind of was hoping that we could do the whole thing with you today, Gavin. You're looking pretty awesome. Not as awesome as a 2007 Chevy Silverado 1500. Look at it, I'm so excited. All right, so yeah, there you go. That's my truck. Nothing much to it. It's a bit of an older used truck, but something that I could afford. And I can happily call it mine. Megan and I are oh so ecstatic. Megan is very happy because now she gets her car to herself and I get a truck. As you guys know, we get a little dirty, so it's good to have something like this on the farm. All the times you guys have seen me running a truck, it's actually been my mom's. And you might be thinking to yourself, so you're telling me that you went out and bought a brand new tractor last year, but then you go out and get a used truck? Don't you have that a little backwards, Joel? No, guys, listen, I have my priorities set straight. I know what is most important here. And that's the workhorse. And don't you forget it. <laughs> All right, let's get some hay. I think Gavin probably touched on it, but oh my goodness, it's beautiful out. 60 degrees. Good day. Okay. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Cow hay. That one could be horse. Let's see what we got, guys. Ah. That could be horse. So let's see here. One, two, three. Sweet. So I only needed to open up two bales. Awesome. I say, let's get the cow bales first. Look at that view, guys. Wowzes. And uh, it's end of March. April's on its way. And you know what happens in April, don't you? A lot, a lot happens in April. Planting season, manure, spring. I'm ready. Okay, now we got our bales set. Just gotta get them back all the way to the farm. And from the looks of things, doesn't look like the horses are in yet. Well, that's good. We don't want Gavin to have to wait on us too long. So let's get the cow bales moved first. See, the cows are heading back to the farm too. That's pretty cool. Well, some time has passed and check it out guys. You can see Argento's now making his way into the pasture. Looks like the middle field's going in and the big field is all in. And I only got one more bale to grab after these two, so we're making good time. Also took off the hoodie, it's just feeling too warm with it on, so we're in a t-shirt now. Now we're talking. Bale's not all the way on the spike, so I'm just gonna push it against this tree. There we go. Gotta use what's around you, right? <laughs> That's the last bale. Let's get this one back. Get them out in the pastures for those ponies. Them hungry, hungry ponies. So now we're back at the stable. Gavin's got all the horses in. We've got the gate opened up and Gavin's with us. We're heading out to get these bales out. So I was curious, how's the day been going for you? I guess you'll have to see the footage. I suppose I will. It's a unique feeling. I kind of like it, it's pretty nice. How's Gavin today? I'm pretty good. Now the horse. He actually ate his food when the other horses were inside. So Did he really? That's awesome. He's been a little nervous, so that's good. Look how good these pastures look, Gavin. Oh my goodness, no mud. It's nice, the grass is starting to grow. Wow, they ate that feeder out. Holy cow. I have never seen it that empty before. Other than when we built it, of course. Well, there we go guys we have hay done and as you can see we put two bales in the middle field now since those four new horses are out in the middle field all night that is a new change but it's good i'd rather them be eating the round bale hay than our large square bale hay so that's good stuff now we're just letting out the horses let's get these pastures full now we're talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed. It keeps you up to date with everything going on here at the stable. All the projects, all the horses, all the fun. We're getting closer and closer to spring, guys. I can feel it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.